What's this? A V-neck? Yeah. No hoodie. The good thing about working from home and working as a game dev is uh, basically you could pretty much wear anything, but sometimes I have to get dressed up, so I put a t-shirt on or a hoodie. Not that I sit without a t-shirt, without... That sounds strange. I don't usually... I, at least I'm usually dressed. Hello guys and welcome to episode 5th... Why am I flying around like this? Hello guys and welcome to episode 59 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I live in Nynäshamn in uh, Sweden, just south of Stockholm and about every 10 years or so we actually get a decent amount of snowfall and uh, that's what happened now and it's stayed cold which is nice so all the nice snow sticks on the trees and it doesn't go into sleet and slush and uh, make you slip and slide everywhere. Probably will not interest you but in 1912 we had the Olympics in the sailing going on here at uh, Strandvägen which actually was the intro sequence that you just saw. That's one of my favorite places here in Ninasam. Today my friends we're gonna be modeling a bus and I know what you're thinking what type of bus is it? Mm, is it PCI or is it even PCI Express? Or is this guy old school and it could be an ISA bus 16-bit? <laughs> it's none of those buzzwords. It's actually a coach bus. So uh, we're gonna do uh, something that goes along with the city that you guys modeled uh, last month. And uh, the new theme for uh, the February challenge, as I released yesterday in a video, is that we're gonna do transport vehicles. And that means anything that could go around and in a city. I think I mentioned this already, but cars, trains, planes, bicycles, mopeds. No, no mopeds actually, motorcycles instead. That's the way to go. So join the Discord, check out the description and uh, get cracking and start modeling there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. When I model this coach bus now, I'm actually gonna use uh, a very similar approach to when I modeled a 10 minute car with perfect topology. And uh, I said perfect topology until some smarty pants pointed out that there was an end gun in the center of the wheels. I have to stand corrected and I did actually apologize for that. I think maybe not officially, but in, in here I did apologize to, to myself, most foremost. As usual, I did a little quick uh, Google image search and I just put in coach bus so I could get a, a brief view of what a bus could potentially look like. Just sort of the proportions and how high the windows are and things. But I'm not going to use a reference. Usually I don't have any, well, usually I say I've never <laughs> have time to, to put a reference image uh, anywhere when I do my 10 minute modeling. So it's just going to have like a, a rough proportion. But when you model your objects, you're very welcome to use uh, blueprints or reference images uh, just to make sure you get the scale correct and uh, don't use me as an example. I'm a bad example most of the time. So I'm just going to wing this one. Let's have some fun. Let's do a 10 minute modeling of a coach bus. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, to get off the bus, there was no buttons to press. It was like a, a little uh, wire that was running along the windows. Anyway, enough said. A bus it is. Let's get started. Ready, steady, go. And we're off. Yes. So first things first, we go into edit and do uh, auto mirror. And then uh, we press... Uh, Tab into edit mode, select this one, and then slide this one up 20 centimeters off the ground, maybe. Height needs to be a little bit higher. Kind of a bus like that, maybe about four meters, roughly. A, scale everything, or scale Y, and then seven. So seven times two, which was the existing scale, makes 14 meter long bus. And then we'll extend this a little bit to there. And then now let's do some loop cuts. We're gonna put some wheel arches, like the that good topology. So control R, control R, Put another one up here and then control R. We'll put the front wheel right about maybe here. Oh, control R, maybe there. I'll just roughly get these in the right places here. Control R, should we put one here? We'll have double axis. This is gonna be shipping some uh, rather large people. So we need double axis in the back. A lot of luggage as well, I'm pretty sure. Control R, let's do some center ones as well. Control R is loop cut, by the way. Now we're gonna try to remember how we did that topology last time. So I'm gonna use C actually to circle select these things a bit quicker. And we're gonna inset, so it's I to inset. Okay, I have to press period and go to medium point first because it was on individual. So I to inset, there we go. And B for boundary in the center down there, remember? And then now we're gonna be rounding these off. So I'll box or I'll box select those and then C to deselect the centers. And then if I remember it correctly from the car, E to extrude. Should check from the front though, make it a little bit. Maybe that's too wide, I'm not sure. So that should be all right, I think. We should probably move this in a little bit further. Though. So Alt Z to see through, one to vertex, and then maybe like this, Alt Z. That should do it. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I have to fix these wheel arches though. And I said wheel arches about 10 billion times. That's a lie. It wasn't that many times, but it was a lot of times, maybe eight. 10 in the car video. So I'm not going to say wheel arches that much more. Just did it. 
how am I doing? 7.45 on the clock, scale Y. These are not gonna be the exact, so any perfectionists there, including myself, we're gonna struggle with this one, but that's okay. It's therapy for us, for people like us. So, shift select these, and let's look from the side up to there. Why do they look so not rounded? Okay, that's uh, something we have to deal with. So I'm gonna box select in X-ray mode, and, oh, I'm into the animation mode. That's a tricky one. There we go. All right, that's a bit better. So here we go, I'm uh, seven, okay, whatever on the clock, seven, whatever. So control R, we're gonna put the windows maybe up here somewhere. And then the wheel arches, I'm gonna control select to there, shift there and control select, shift select and control select. And we're gonna get these out a little bit like so. That's it. And now we have to shape this into a bus. Uh, so I'm gonna do a, a, a modern looking coach bus, sort of anyway, sort of semi-modern. So shift select those maybe here. So just a little bit rounded front here. And maybe this one can go even down a little bit. Odd said, I think they should be more streamlined. We have to think about the environment apparently. So let's streamline this thing a little bit more. Get that draft down. This is running on pure diesel, by the way. So it's actually got triple diesel engines just to, for some performance to compensate for the aerodynamics here. So I have no idea what I'm going on about and neither does probably anyone else, but that's okay. So select that one, control select this. We have to round it off a little bit at the top, maybe like this. And this one we should probably bring in as, bring in as well. Maybe like that sounded, that, that was strange. So maybe like this instead. Okay, here we go, uh, 5.43 already. And I haven't even, uh, why am I so slow today? Uh, should it be like that? I'm not sure. Okay, A, I'll make it white anyway. And then uh, we have to put some windows here. I'll have to just control, do a few of those. Shift select to there. Let's... I'll move these to get a little slant on all the windows. Looks a bit cooler, maybe. And then here we have to figure out now, control R, I'll just do some uh, driver window here. I think GG. Here's like a GG. Let's just get some sort of a design feature here without wrecking it too much. So here's some sort of a I to inset. That's where it is. And then Alt E, extrude long face normals into there. And then here's gonna be the driver like window thing now. I'll leave that one, I think. I to inset. He's not gonna see up from the side there. I have to do this. I to inset. Alt E to extrude long face normals. Maybe like this. I don't know. Okay, let's put a bumper here. So I'll sh control select it there, shift D to duplicate it, alt D to extrude long face normals. And I won't have time to do this much more, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. A scale down to nothing nearly. Scale zero actually, we'll do black apparently. Okay, we have to have some more wind. Okay, I'll colorize this. Usually I keep like a black color here for the windows. We've got 411 on the clock. Scale zero, there we go. And here, I'm just gonna have to, to do these uh, windows here. So I'll do these individually first. I to inset, I to inset again, and then E to extrude, and then G, move it to black. Here I have to do them individually, or not individually rather. I'll do a bigger window here in the back. This is where, remember, yeah. E to extrude and dark. And a rear window here. This looks like a like a horse trailer. <laughs> Probably not. But all right, I'll just have to do something simpler here. I think maybe should it be like that, like this? I don't know. G, I to inset, and Alt E to extrude long face normals into there and back. Okay, how am I doing? Three ten. This have to go up a bit, doesn't it? So I'll control select there, bring that up. Then here we need some like air vents, don't we? I'm pretty sure that they, they need some fresh air. In there. Oh, that was too much. I to inset, E to extrude, and we need a rear view mirror. So should we colorize this as well? Control R, let's put another stripe here. 
introducing a lot of extra geometry that we probably don't need. And here could be like the where the, where you store the ski stuff if you go skiing. Height inset. Have to shift to like these and do them manually because it's double faces, so not to confuse with double chin, double face. There we go. Oh, that's too dark. Just a little bit darker. Why would it be darker? Control plus. I'll just do like this instead, and then Control minus. There. I need a rear view mirror as well. Uh, two minutes to go. What's happened this, to this bus? I've disabled auto mirror or something. Auto mirror. What happened then? Anyway. Okay, we need a rear view mirror. So I'll just have to really do this uh, quick because I've only got two minutes for the wheels here. Let's put it here. Scale Y. Bring it up. So this is going to be a bit to touch. Don't do it like me. Do it properly. Ah. E to extrude. G. And E to extrude again, G, and then just bring it down. I think they hang out like this. E to extrude, S to scale, and E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, I have to put wheels here now. Oh, we need uh, headlights. This would be a pure illegal vehicle otherwise. Alt E to extrude, long face normals, in, and yellow. One minute. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to do a wheel in one minute. And it's got no rear bumper. Shift right click, shift A, cylinder, and we bring that down to 16. We like the low poly look. Clipping off, scale, Z, I have to go here, rotate, Y, 90, scale it down, 51 seconds, scale it down even more. It can overlap, that's okay. We can live with that. A, scale, zero, G. Okay, I have to really do something simple here. E to extrude. Right here, set, it looks true, it control plus. Uh, 32 seconds. There's, there's the end gone. Sorry about that, guys. I apologize. Scale X, scale X. There we go. 32, oh no, 21 seconds. Shift D, shift D. And let's put a rear bumper here as well. 11 seconds. Shift D. Oh. Alt D, extra long face normals. Uh, four seconds L to select link. Scale zero G. There we go. That was right on the buzzer. It's got a slightly discolored bumper, but I think it's been in a snow draft. It's snowing here, so it's actually covered a little bit by snow. I think we've got ourselves a coach bus. It could be doubling as some weird type of vehicle, but it's sort of like a coach bus anyway. Did anyone watch Scrap Heap Challenge? When I lived in the UK, I think it was anyway, I used to watch that program. And if I remember correctly, after their time expired, when they built their thing, they had a uh, one hour of tinkering time. And it's tinkering time. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna pretend that these are actually a lot rounder than they look here. So this is gonna be going down in history as uh, the first 10 minute modeling challenge where this could be considered a pure cheat. This is the bonus material, that's where it is. You can select geometry like that. I used the L key to select those wheels and I pressed H to hide it. Scale Y, we want that one to be a little bit rounder. Actually, that's no good either because then I'm changing the proportion. So I'm actually manually gonna drag these out a little bit like this. Like so, like this. And remember now, this is for the sake of learning. It's not for the sake of cheating. It's for the sake of learning how to fix things in post. I'm pretty sure that goes on everywhere you look. And now magically with this tinkering time thing, we actually have wheelhouses that look, I said it again, wheelhouses, probably. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll accept that apology that I'm gonna make later. So Alt H now unhides those. That's pretty good. And we can move them out a little bit. And if the wheel is misplaced like this, move it into place and then we can select everything and just move it up to height there so if you're going to participate in the february challenge of uh, modeling of vehicles for the city the community city then i recommend that you check my video on learn low poly modeling check my channel history or even the end screen on this video should have that one as a recommended video it's a bit of a lengthy one uh, you have to spend about two hours of your life just going through there listening to this uh, tedious voice 
but I pretty much show everything that I know about how to particularly do low poly model stuff, including how I colorize the objects and, and everything like that. Hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for another 10 minute modeling challenge. Bye for now.